a story about how a girl who used to be very bad at English has changed herself and her life. I share with you this story because I want to prove with all of you that everyone can learn English, even a used to be bad English learner like me. But first, I want to start the story with a thank to my mom, who knows nothing of English, but has been my best English teacher so far. When I was in secondary school, all my English exam scores were always one or two continuously. My speaking at that time was very terrible, but it was one thing very strange. It was my mom. You know, every time she saw me reading my English books, even if it was very terrible, and she just said that helpfully, you are so great. And you know that my English teacher at that time, she always said that I couldn't understand why you speak English so slowly. My mom always kept saying that you have talent for English and you will be a good English speaker for sure. So the first thing I want to share with you is that it doesn't matter if you really have talent for English or not. The matter here is you must have belief in yourself, as my mom has unconditionally believed in me. The second story I want to share with you is when I was at the end of grade 9. At that time, my English was irredeemable. So I decided to choose Major C as a major to check our entrance exam in high school and in university. When my mom realized that her daughter wasn't as good as her thought, I suppose that she would give up on me. But she didn't. You know, she just told me one sentence. Let's try one more time. And as long as you try your best this time, I'm still proud of you. So, because of her sentence, I decided to try one more time. And this time, I tried my best as my promise to my mom. And you know, the result is very amazing. I got the 10 of my English test in the entrance exam to my high school. So, the second thing I want to share with you is, before you give up on something, just ask yourself, have you tried your best yet? If the answer is not yet, please give yourself one more chance to try. And as long as this time you try your best, I believe that you will never regret with the result. The third story I want to share with you is when I started to learn English. I took an English course at the language center near my house. And my timetable is Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And it is from 7.30 to 9 p.m. But you know, I did haunt that English center. I was there from Monday to Saturday, and from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I approached everyone I saw at that English center to practice English. And I remember after three months, Exactly after three months, my English was completely improving. All people in that language center was very shocked by the, by the speed of my improvement in English. So, what is my secret? One word, regularity. And I believe that regularity is more important 100 times than the work talent. No matter where you learn, no matter what method you use, you just need to practice regularity every day and you will see the difference in yourself. The first story I'm going to share with you is when I was invited to be a translator in Philippines. When I came there, I am completely impressed by the fact that almost everyone here could speak English. And I feel even more impressed when none of my friends there go to any English center. So, what is their secret? That is the first time I realized the importance of environment. 
You know, in Philippines, English is their media. All the posters, all the panels you see in the street is English. Radio is bilingual with English and Philippines. TV is bilingual with English and Philippines. Even many schools that didn't use English for their teaching. So the local people there, they have the chance to practice English every day right from their daily lives. So, if you want to improve your English quickly, you must find a good environment to practice English every day. A good environment will give you a chance to improve your reflection and you can have a chance to apply what you have learned into reality. The final story is what I see nowadays. On the websites, on there are so many websites and there are so many documents that can help you learn English these days. And I saw that there are so many people try to follow these methods unconsciously. Luckily, some of them work, but not all and everyone could apply those methods. And then they started to feel depressed, and they started to give up, and they come to the conclusion that. I don't have talent for English, or I'm so bad at English. So, I want to share with you a story that I have learned when I got a certificate in teaching English internationally, TESOL 2012. Everyone is different. It means that everyone has a different learning method. That's why, before you try to find the best method for yourself, you have to find your own learning method. For example, if you're, you have the, word, the music smart, so you can't learn vocabularies just by keeping writing down 100 times, which is the learning method of the people who have the word smart. So, if for a long time you have seriously learned English and you didn't got any result, you must have these five three things. First, a good environment. Second, a good teacher and third, a good method which is suitable for you. Thank you.